So in this video I'm going to take a, a look at the industrial production of sucrose. Before you watch this video, you should watch the three videos showing the industrial production of glucose and fructose. The reason for that is, is that the glucose and fructose are the starting point for the industrial production of sucrose. You may be wondering why we bother with the industrial production of sucrose as we can extract sucrose from sugar beet or sugar cane. Uh, once again, we go back to the fact that um, corn is a, a cheap raw material and uh, this can cut costs in the food industry. So, we basically, the starting point is glucose and fructose and to this we add again an enzyme this time an enzyme called sucrose synthase And maybe you can guess from the name, again, synthase is again an enzyme, and this time it catalyzes the synthesis, if you want, the building of substances. In this case, we've got sucrose synthase. So this enzyme catalyzes the synthesis of sucrose. This will give us sucrose. Sucrose. And as you can see, it's a, a disaccharide of glucose and fructose. Sucrose itself is widely used in the food industry, so it's used for, of course, sweetening things. So it's used as a sweetener. Though don't don't forget, fruit fructose actually does taste sweeter, so sometimes fructose is used. It's also used as a preservative. Classic examples would be jam or ketchup. It's used as a, a food for yeast in brewing and baking. And finally, it's used for plastics. So as you can see sucrose is used in a lot of different industries in the food industry, the brewing industry and even in the plastics industry. So that was a quick look at the industrial production of sucrose.